up welcome back to my channel so for today's video i finally have my final review up of the carly bible palette wrong way um i told you guys when i first did a first impressions on it that i would mention it in a monthly favorites i did not have time to film a monthly favorites unfortunately so i decided um i would just do like a different type of video to give you guys my final review so to really test this palette out i've been testing it out for um three weeks or so i've had it for maybe like a month and a half but i've been testing it out since that review the first impression for about three weeks getting used to it seeing how i like it so i came up with this three looks one palette um for you guys, as you guys saw in the beginning, I have a really glam look, a toned down one, and then an everyday look. I wear this to work every day. I have a second job, and I just really like it. It makes you feel pretty. I look healthy and super glowy. <laughs> so if you guys are interested in seeing all that, then please keep watching. Okay, guys, so jumping right into this tutorial, I'm taking that light mauve shade. It's more like a dusty rose uh, shade, and I'm just going to start building that up into my crease, alternating brushes. Then I'm taking this dark mauve shade right there and building that into my crease and outer V as well. And then my shirt was falling, so I wanted you guys to know that it's my undershirt showing and not my bra. <laughs> now I'm taking a small little packer brush and building that dark shade on my inner corner and outer corner and blending it out. Now I'm going to take my NYX First Base Primer, I'm just going to build that onto the center of my lid, and then I'm showing you guys how I dip my brush into the eye base and apply it to get that perfect line because I do have hooded eyes. Now I'm taking this shimmery shade right there, guys, and look how pigmented that is. I was so shocked, I didn't even wet my brush or dip into it that hard, and I couldn't believe how well it pops. It's absolutely stunning. And now I'm just taking my Vegas Nay Easy Elegance Eyelashes and applying those. And now the two matte shades we used in our crease and outer V, I'm going to put that on the lower lash line. And then I'm just taking those two pink highlighting shades, and I'm just going to throw that in my inner corner. And for lips, I'm using this NYX Lip Lingerie. It's one of my go-to shades. I've used this in about three videos. It's so beautiful. I don't remember the name off the top of my head, but I will link it down below. And that is the completed look. So beautiful. Okay, so for the next look, we're just going to start off with this orangey shade right here and throw that into our crease using a fluffy brush so it looks really blown out and blended. And then I'm just going to take that same color and just build it up on my outer V as well. Again, blend that out. And now I'm going to go in with this brown shade for a little more added depth and just go ahead and blend that out. And then for my lid, I'm just taking the yellow highlighting shade. Um, I started off with it, and it wasn't really pigmented. It didn't pick up well, so I had to go into the gold eyeshadow and build that up, and that made it look really pretty. And then to complete the look, I just went in with some brown eyeliner and some mascara. No falsies today. And then I took the same golden highlight, and I went in with my inner corner and under my brow bone to make it pop. And for the, my lip, I'm taking ColourPop Tulip Satin Lip. And applying that, I feel like brown lips, yellow eyeshadow just looks so pretty together. And then this is the completed look. Okay, so for this everyday makeup look, I'm just taking this brown orangey shade. I'm just building that up into my crease to my liking. And then I'm just going to apply it to my lower lash line. Add some mascara. And then to highlight my inner corner, I'm taking those two shades right there putting it in my inner corner and under my brow bone just so it really pops. And then I'm moving on to lips. I'm using the ColourPop Lippy Stick in Gold Digger. Just applying that super pretty, perfect for summer. It's a beautiful pop of color. And then that is the everyday natural-ish <laughs> makeup look. That was the three looks that I came up with. I just really, really have been loving this palette. I'm still going to have to give it an 8 out of 10 just because, like I said in the first impressions, it's really not women of color friendly. As far as the highlights, super beautiful. You can see my swatch marks. They're super pigmented. I only have this light gold highlight. And look at my cheeks. Look at my nose and my chin and especially this side. So they're super, super pigmented. I absolutely love them all. I have this white one underneath my brow. I didn't know how I was going to be able to use it because it is a little uh, too stark, but it looks fine under the brow bone, as you guys can see. I personally like it. This one is a little too dark, but if I mix it with this, um, with this light gold one and put it on my shoulders or my collarbones at night, it looks really pretty. As far as the matte eyeshadows, they're okay. Nothing too impressive just because they're not that pigmented. Like I said, even when I use my 
and next eye base and you guys know that makes shadows pop like there's no tomorrow so it doesn't do that well some of them like this I can only set my eyes with but as far as this shade it's really pigmented really nice and this one like it's just a slight wash of color as you guys can see yeah as far as the shimmery shades holy crap they are so pigmented I don't even need to add um any uh, setting spray to make them pop even more they just pop so pretty on their own so I really do like that I would recommend this palette if you don't mind not being able to use the mattes but the highlights are on point 10 out of 10 the shimmery shades 10 out of 10 like I just said it's only the mattes that aren't really women of color friendly and I can tell I'll be grabbing into this palette just for the shimmer shadows because they are so beautiful and I just can't get away from them so um yeah those are just the pros and the one con i do think it's worth it it's like 12.98 or something like that if it's still available i'll make sure to link it down below for you guys in case you guys are interested but i actually do think it's worth it so if you guys get it or recreate any of these looks please tag me on twitter and let me know and that will wrap up this video i really hope you guys enjoyed let me know if you want to do um if you want me to do more three looks with one palette or any more reviews on any eyeshadow palettes let me know in the down bar below and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye! Um, as far as the as far as the matte highlights, okay.